We often hear these days that, with increasing vehicle complexity, liability is increasing. Is there liability associated with paint? We're going to find out next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. When we think about liability, we don't typically consider the paint shop, but there is indeed liability associated with paint. For example, too thick of a film build over a sensor. We're all familiar with all data, OEM One Stop, and the various OEM sites dictating proper repair procedures. Contained within those repair procedures is often details regarding mill thickness limitations over sensors, both extruded and hidden, that must be observed for the sensor to function properly. Remember the old acronym SMOG from your learning to drive days? Signal, mirror, look over the shoulder, go. We relied on mirrors, eyes on the road, attention to detail, and defensive driving habits to avoid accidents. With today's ADAS technology, distracted driving would appear to be less of an issue as sensors alert us to objects invading our space, or when we invade other space. When a sensor fails to alert us as designed in a timely fashion, resulting in a collision, we can be reasonably certain the lawyers will get involved. Can we prove we did not exceed paint film thickness limitations as directed by the OE? We can if we have a plastic mill gauge and are armed with the manufacturer requirements. Recalibration following a repair may not even be possible in some cases if there is excessive film build, commonly caused by multiple refinish attempts to match a color. It's incredible how many shops do not have a mill gauge that reads all substrates. It should be a tool in every shop's arsenal. Liability is usually thought of in relation to body repair, but there is liability associated with the refinish process too. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.